Hey how's it going ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Samuel's channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Dragon Formation Base for Astray Brew Frame D. Right now, if you're trying to find this thing, it will be extremely expensive. It's not it's not i'm not exaggerating i'm not kidding it's really expensive for a single action base for act for this astray brew frame d um in my memory is about 90 usd if you're trying to get this formation base right now i got it from a uh, from a shop that is pretty friendly to me uh, i got this for around like 250 xkd around something like that so it, I'm pretty happy about that. I got this one, so I don't have to, you know, go for, go into the internet and then search it for a long time just to find a good price and then try to let my blue frame to have a display base to have this kind of um, awesome effects right here. So it is a pretty early kit, so it's 2014, and at the side right here we can see the the runners inside and the material inside actually that's not much to talk about seriously that's not much to talk about in this box right here so i'm not even bothering to open up the bags because they are just basically a bunch of stands for the dragon system and the stand for the down pot itself to the further to the other side there's not much to talk about because it's just a picture here right here so we'll just quickly look at what's inside i'm not going to open up the bags because there's no point for me to go through every single runner they are just basically stands so uh first this is the first bag is a stand as well second bag is a stand as well this is the action base this is the action base and then this is the stand and we also have the action base base and then we'll just quickly look at the instruction menu so the instruction menu is just like this yeah that's really exciting isn't it that is really exciting wow so exciting <laughs> that's not much to talk about and we also have the screws down here for the action base i think wait well, it's actually for the join on the action base yes and if you're asking me that if you need to spend that much money for a formation base i don't think it's worth it at all and i don't even know why this thing is p-band eye because why don't why can't you just include that in the kit because it's just a couple bag of runners is you can include in the astro proofing d so bandai clearly released this space just to rip your money off please don't do something like this and please don't do something like me don't buy the base because the base right now is really expensive because i don't think they ever have a reissue that's why the base is extremely hard to find and it's even if you find it it's really expensive trust me it's really expensive so if you're someone who planned to buy the blue frame d or if you want to get the action base i suggest you just don't just keep your blue frame d as it is and then just don't buy the space because this space is just giving you an extra space the extra base and then also give you a couple stands for you to have your dragon flying out so if you ask me for a couple of plastic bag like this uh, is it worth like 90 usd or something like that no just don't buy the base okay but anyway i review it for you and then you can just look at mine and after that if you feel like you want to throw your money throw some a lot of money at it then fine but i'm just telling you that it's ridiculously overpriced and i really not recommend you on doing that but anyway let's go to review first hey guys welcome back to the review of the dragon formation base so this is the finishing of the dragon formation base i'm not kidding with you i'm not joking with you this is actually what it looks like when you finish so it's just basically an action base one and then just connecting to a bunch of stands bunch of stands because this this box of sculpture that I got is a pretty old one, so that's why the plastic now doesn't look as clear. It looks a little bit yellow because, you know, it's stored for a long time and that's why it got a little bit of yellow in it. But when you're looking at the overall finish, though, you will probably ask yourself, does this, does this thing really worth 200 XKD or does this thing really worth for like 90 USD? I can tell you the answer is no. I would rather you to spend $90 on the expansion set for the providence gundam because at least they give you the water side decal and they also give you those beam effect parts and they also give you the frosted part for this dragon formation base right here i just feel like it's just giving you a couple stands they 
And I checked the Dora Gong so they don't have the thruster. So I think that this Dora Gong system is working with no thruster. But it kind of doesn't make sense because if you look at the Dora Gong system on the uh, Legend, on the Providence, and on the Strike Free and Gundam, all their Dora Gongs have thrusters. But when I'm looking at the Gundam Asteroid Blueframe, the, the Blade Dragons that I actually take a close up to it. I can't find the thruster, so I don't know. Do they have the thruster in their original setting or not? But I kind of feel like that if you're selling me a base for your Dragon to show out, you should at least give us some thruster effects, right? But when I check the design, there's no thrusters, so I don't think that they are powered by thrusters. They are just flying around by the pilot's will. Fine, okay, I accept that. But what I want to say is I'd rather you to spend that $90 or that $70 to get a Providence expansion set and then, you know, at least you can have some beams, you can have some frosty effects. It's worth way more than this. What I, this action base literally make me feel like it's just a ripoff. It's just giving you an action base one and then just giving you a couple more stands for you to display your blue frame D Storagon. So, don't buy it, just keep your Blue Ring D as it is, as I said at the unboxing part. Now, let's take a close look to this. First, for the movement of this base, because you're displaying with your Doragon, so it must have some movement. So I'll just quickly show you that. So at the at the base of the whole stand, you can move as well. And then you having this kind of small parts that you can move as well. But I do want to warn you that they are pretty hard to turn. So now I'm not going to turn it because I don't want to damage it. Because as I said, this base is really expensive. If I turn it incorrectly, I don't have the replacement part. So I'm just telling you that this part and this part right here is movable. They, you can adjust the angle, but I will just keep it as it is. And then I will just take off this and then just show you. So as you can see right here, at the at each side, we have five plugs right here. So this is for the head. Dorangong, this is for the Dorangong at the backpack. This is for the Dorangong, the longest Dorangong, the sword Dorangong at the side skirt. And then the bottom two right here is for the Dorangongs at the shoulders. It's pretty straightforward. And if you're asking what these holes are for, it's actually, um, there's 10 of these kind of stands in the box where you can extend your Dorangong movements. So, which means that if I, if I plug it in like that, if I just quickly plug it in, you can see that the, the length is, so now you can see that it adds some length to it. So it actually looks like the Doragon is flying out. It's just an extra stand for you to mess around. And you can also combine, and then you can also combine the uh, Doragon stand at the, at the top right here. So you can, so you can display your Doragon at the, at a longer position, at a further position. And it actually looks like the Doragon is flying out. There is also another way for you to play with this action base right here. You can take down the large piece and then slap it at the bottom of the action base one right here. And then you can put on the stands and now it will look like the Doragon is flying underneath of the mobile suit and it's just flying up. Which is another way that you can play with this base. Now, let's not talk too much. Let's put on the Doragon first. Okay guys, this is what it looks like when every single Doragon is equipped on to the Blue Frame D right here. Unless you're someone that loves Blue Frame so much, or unless you're someone that loves Blue Frame D so much, I don't think you need to buy this one because this one, action based one, and with a couple stand, I don't think it's worth like 90 USD or 70 USD. So I would just say that if you have the Blue Frame D, just keep it as it is. Don't buy anything else. If you're thinking about purchasing this formation base after you watch this review, I will tell you that you know how do I convince you not to buy it. Just look at the price and you think it is really expensive and you start to think that this display looks really bad. Yeah, just small tip for you. And as I said, I'd rather you to buy the Providence one. The Providence one is way worth it. It's way worth than this one right here. This one is literally just a couple stand, and the stand is not really good as well. It's really hard to turn. So I will tell you that some sometimes you can just look at the pictures instead of buying it because right now when I bought it, it's not as good as I thought. So this is the end of the review. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video and also leave a like on my videos.